five back in the kitchen once more because we're gonna make a recipe before the workout today. Isn't that right, Buff Baby? He says, yeah, we have a whole, you know, psychic link thing going on. So we're gonna be making spicy orange slow cooker chicken today. It's a great one that you can use for future meals. So once you're finished, you can throw it in the fridge and you're good to go. But enough talk, let's start making this thing. You will need two pounds boneless skinless chicken, half cup orange juice, large red pepper, two tablespoons coconut oil, one tablespoon ginger, red peppers. Go ahead and turn your slow cooker on. If you do low, it's gonna take about eight hours. On high, about four hours. We're doing high. Next, begin by slicing your red pepper. Put it into your slow cooker and then lay your two pounds of chicken on top of it. Well, look at that. You've made a little pepper bed for your chicken. Go ahead and take half a cup of orange juice and pour over your chicken. Next, your two tablespoons of coconut oil. Oil. Now go ahead and slice up your one tablespoon of ginger into bits. Once that's finished, put it in there as well. Finally, take some red pepper flakes, the amount is up to you, and flake them in there. Now that everything is in the slow cooker, we're going to wait about four hours and try this crazy buff dude concoction out. Four hours later, we're going to cook it up with a bit of noodles and then mix it in with our spicy orange chicken. So what's the verdict? Spicy and damn good. Hell yeah. This one is great as well because it makes multiple servings. So feel free to put the rest in the fridge and eat it throughout the week. Okay, meals in the belly, and now it's time for a workout. Let's do this. Got the horizontal leg press here rather than the vertical. If you're suffering from any issues in your in your back tightness, or even maybe let's say you have a slip disc. Or a herniated disc and if you want to do leg press you still want to get your legs choose the horizontal leg press over the vertical leg press it's gonna be a hell of a lot easier for your back just a better positioning and uh, you still get a damn good leg activation second leg day this week where's your shorts damn it <laughs> oh man oh my god i can't believe i just I have failed you all. I wore pants. Oh, I wore shorts. <laughs> Shit. Well, at least, at least you know, 50% ain't bad. We gotta increase that number. 100% shorts by next leg workout, I promise. drop set. It's four reps, but don't let that fool you because you do the four reps, pause just enough to take some of the weights off, resume with another four reps. Keep doing that until you can't do it anymore. I made it four rounds and I had to call it a day on the leg press. Get a little extra movement in there. Having to uh, farmer squat it from the bottom position from the floor. You want to be careful when you do that. You don't want to hurt your lower back picking it up. Or if you always put it on a bench and kind of lift it off in that way if you don't want to go straight from the floor. Because typically a Romanian deadlift is going to start in the top position rather than having to deadlift it up first and then go into the, the motion. But you know what? Sometimes it's good to work harder, not smarter. No real hip movement. We got our hip movement out of the way with the Romanian deadlifts. The flexion and the extension, nice squeeze in the glutes. Those were really trying to isolate those hamstrings and then now this exercise is really putting a lot of focus on the quads. So kind of hitting 
the, both sides of the leg, quads, hamstrings, and uh, you know that's why I always got to keep in mind what exercise is hitting what, so that way you can really try to balance it out in the long run. Because if you're constantly just hitting your quads, it's easy to become quad dominant. So you really want to make sure to balance everything out. Posturally, it's going to help. Um, you know the way you function and uh, just the look as well. Speaking of balancing it out, here we are with the glute ham raise. And uh, thankfully this gym has a machine right here. Looks a bit odd, but if your gym has it, if you've never used it, here we go, this is, this is it. If you don't have a machine like this, of course you can just anchor your feet and do it manually yourself. We have a lot of tutorials on that, um, and I've talked about it and done it a lot of times in the past because it's very excellent, but this machine is really nice. A bit more comfortable, and you feel it can kind of really isolate the curling motion so the hamstrings can be shortening. I feel like it's almost like a bicep curl, like a like a preacher bench curl for the for the hamstring. So it's definitely an excellent one and uh, you can feel it real quick. Brennan brought up a really good point is the hamstrings, much like the biceps, it is a pull. So in order to help visualize, since you can't see the hamstring, sometimes it can be a little harder is just visualize, as he was saying, it's just like that bicep. You're just pulling it right up like that, every single rep. You got two big biceps on the back of your legs. Yeah. That's why they're called the biceps femoris. Exactly, dropping a little bit of that buff dude's knowledge. And as someone, or multiple people, have constantly reminded us, this exercise can also go by the name Nordic Ham Raise, which I do have to agree does sound just a little bit more badass. But whatever way you call it, it is an excellent hamstring isolation exercise. And I just had to wear pants, didn't I? I've let you all down on this day. I'm going to have to have a major redemption arc. It's going to be coming in the next episode. Look for it. This is my Empire Strikes Back. It's going to come in with underwear on. Actually, I am. I'm wearing tidy whities right now. It's kind of actually tempted, but... We still have a few months to go in this gym, so I need to be on my best behavior, you know? No gym wildlife or gym crimes yet. But uh, we'll go out with a bang. Like Brian was saying, those tearaway pants. That's gonna be a reality. You just wait. Just tear away the pants, just be completely naked, be like, fuck you all, I'm out of here. And then just walk out the door butt-ass naked. Oh yeah, last day. Police waiting outside. <laughs> YouTube's gonna demonetize us for that gratuitous calf shot. Shield your eyes, young ones. Be like a sensor bar. Yeah, just be like the, the Buff Dudes Members Only website. You can see this footage. If you want to see those sweet, sweet calves, $9.99 a month. Members only. See the clock or you don't? I think it's better that you don't. <laughs> Impressive.